Hello friends and followers and welcome back to a new project. My name is Smo, I'm a German graffiti artist and uh, today I want to paint in this uh, beautiful room of the factory. You know this from the uh, one hour challenge where I painted the name of Nick Moody. Okay, you can hear the police dogs. They're training police dogs downstairs. So I have to paint here. And, uh, but this is, this is good because in uh, the last week I painted a graffiti, this one. I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy with this. Look at the flow. Oh yeah. But as I know that many people can't find the letters in this graffiti, here is some education this small. For those of you who are new to this channel, I want to explain real quick what you can read over there. Um, as my name is Smo, of course, I wrote Smo in clean and stylish graffiti letters. S M O N E. That get a little bit more visible when we remove all the outlines and all the stuff all around and show the core line of these complicated looking but pretty easy letters. S, O and E have some extensions that are growing out of the letters, but I think now it's easier for you to read these letters. This is just my name, Smo. I'm super happy uh, with the flow of this piece, with the color combination, everything. But uh, when I was at home and I was uh, staring at the photo of it, I thought it would be nice if this would have a full color background and a character. And this is what we want to do today. Let's add a character to this piece and also some tiny details. My beloved stickers are missing. I want to put some stickers here. Um, yeah, this was a really quick shot. I did this in just uh, some, something like three hours or something. Um, by the way, I was here in the last week with um, Khan. Khan visited me in Belgium and he made this one. Super unique style. This is one of my favorite uh, characters from Nick Moody. Also in this room. Yeah, this room is slowly getting full. And <laughs> this is the wall of shame where I painted uh, blind. This one is uh, a 10 minutes piece. Uh, just painting it real quick. And then I was blindfolded and I made this one and I was done after five minutes and I completely lost orientation. Pretty funny video, it is linked over there, but today we want to drop some quality in here. So let's start. Let's cover all the white. camera is not running. <laughs> this camera is not running. I'll put you, I'll put you over here. I know that it does not really make so much sense to paint the background all around the piece afterwards. This is the wrong order, I know it, but uh, the day when I uh, painted this piece, I just wanted to do a quick freestyle and I just didn't expect that it turns out so great and um, yeah, somehow always when I go painting and don't take the camera with me, like I did at this piece, I regret it afterwards. This could have been such a dope raw video. Oh, 
Okay, uh, just one hour later, um, all the white is gone now. There's only one tiny dot over there that is still white. And I did this because I want to have a little bit more control about the light. Because it is not possible to add light to a white wall because white is already the lightest color that we have. So I thought I paint everything all around in this uh, petrol color. And of course I will add the shadow and stuff again. But now it is possible to add real shiny highlights to this piece and also to the character. And uh, yeah, I think uh, this will make a huge difference. Let's start with the first lines of the character. And I want him to stand, to stand on top of the piece over there. So. Those of you who follow me on Instagram already have seen the stories and know that I will be painting uh, my probably most famous of all characters, uh, the Alchemist. Uh, you know him from the canvas that I painted uh, three years, four years ago? I think already four years ago, crazy. Um, then this character also was in my very first sticker pack. And just uh, two weeks ago I painted him in a black book. And now it's time to paint this guy to a wall. As I didn't use any grid or something, um, I painted it just freehand. Um, I had to change the um, proportions several times uh, because the eyes were just crooked and I had to remove the left eye, paint it bigger, paint it a second time, a third time, make the eyebrows lower. But after maybe two hours, uh, first lines are done. I think this were uh, the hardest first lines I've done in a while um, because I want to have this character look as close as possible uh, to the vinyl figure um, that I want to make a little bit of advertisement, advertisement for. I think um, one a year ago, the company Gimme Swag asked me if we didn't want to uh, make some merch together. And they told me, oh, we can do vinyl figures and plush toys. And I said, I definitely want a vinyl figure. Vinyl figures are so much cooler than plush toys. And um, yeah, it is, it is um, done now. The crowdfunding is running. We uh, still got, I think when the video will be online, we st still got four days or something. Uh, yeah, and only 25% of it is funded right now. So I try to give a little bit more attention to this cool guy. And I will tell you more about him and why he looks like that and why he's wearing a helmet and why his arms are coming out of the ears and uh, what it's all about with the dice and so on. And I will do this during the painting. And I think now this guy uh, really looks like the prototype that they have sent me. that I want to keep an eye on together with you is the dice. Many people wrote me, hey Smo, you made a mistake. Um, on the opposite sides of the dice, there are always, um, there are always together seven. So the one and the six can't be visible at the same time. And um, yeah, I just think it is funny to put wrong dices into artworks so people have something to complain about. By the way, this painting is from 2013 and you might still remember it from the big YouTubers collaboration with 1000. 
And it was so much fun to make this dice even more wrong than you would think on first sight. Because when you turn around uh, the alchemist, you will see on the other side <laughs> that there are even not only numbers on it, there is a smiley behind the one. And um, when you see it from the bottom, <laughs> there's even a second one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so in love with making mistakes on purpose and um, I had a hard time explaining this to Gimme Swag um, so that they at the end did the dice in the way that I wanted because this dice stands for playing the game of life with your own rules and for me it is absolutely okay if other people say it is wrong. For me the dice symbolizes a different way of thinking. The dice tells the story of Nova and me and that one smile and two people in love can create something that is as right as six and one on opposite sides. And to lead some more attention to the dice, uh, I thought I let him glow. Let it glow. I let it glow a little bit. So, uh, like a magic dice, you know, it's shining. I really like the effect. detail that I want to point out is his helmet with the lucky clover on it um, that I have chosen for his head because uh, he is a soldier of fortune. And while I was painting the blue eyes, I noticed that it is slowly getting dark outside. It is still winter, it is getting dark at 4 p.m. And um, so I took my battery powered lights and put them to the ceiling so that I can, can continue painting until the batteries die. Okay, we are at 90% right now, or even 95. And now I want to show how much difference it is between, um, between an artwork that has nearly almost only, ne nearly only, <laughs> nearly almost only, that is nearly only mid-tones and uh, of course it's a little bit of, of, of very dark colors but now I want to add um, the light colors to it. I want to add a lot, a lot of glow and the idea is that we have one uh, blue light coming from the right, we have the orange that uh, of course we, will, we will have the broken halo over here, I will have to paint it again and the uh, Halo shines into this direction. We got a backlight in blue from the right, so we got the warm on the left side, uh, cold on the right side, and I think this will give this artwork a lot of three-dimensionality. Or I will mess it up. <laughs> I'm uh, staring at it for a quarter of an hour while it is getting dark, and I'm thinking, Probably, maybe I will mess this up, but we got no chance. We just got today for painting, otherwise I won't make it with the editing and everything. Ah, yeah. Maybe, I hope, I hope that Gimme Swag will give me some e extra time for the Alchemist. Would be so cool. Would be some sort of a dream if this came true and uh, you would all get this in your living room, standing in your offices, in your, in your vinyl figures collection, or wherever. 
This would be so cool. Yeah, but time is running. Time is running. We need to hurry. Do I say that I hate to hurry? I don't want to hurry. I want to take the time that it needs to be as perfect as it could be. Or, or should I just go home now? And just do it tomorrow? Hey, come on. Come on, smoke. Smoke. Mobilize your energy. I will do so. Yeah, as I didn't really prepare anything for this wall, but I wanted to add more light to it because of the theory that when you have only midtones um, in a in, in an artwork that you can add light to it. I slowly try to put more and more dust over it with neon orange and also gave the alchemist neon orange reflections on the left side and um, blue from the right. And when me editing small or voiceover small sees this right now, I don't know what um, <laughs> what was my problem at all. But I was extremely unsatisfied while painting this. This is so terrible that my brain needs so much process time afterwards to understand that something was pretty good. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with it. I, I, think, I think that the whole character needs to be a little bit darker at the right side and also the piece needs to get a little bit darker down below here ah, so i will go i will go over it with will fade over it a little bit this is so dangerous what i'm doing here i'm so close to destroy everything it is it is in right in the middle between being good and being a complete disaster. <sighs> okay. I have no chance. I need to continue. I need to continue. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. <gasps> it is already so good. I could stop, but I don't stop. <laughs> I won't stop. Ah, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I will make him darker and I also want to change, I want to change his eye again. I think his, 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 his how he, he looks, I think his, his, uh, this eye, this eye is really good, but this eye is, uh, is looking upwards and it needs to be a little bit more downwards so that he really, uh, um, looks to the viewer of this artwork. So I will do something very dangerous. I will go into his eye again. I will paint over his eye and I will give him a lot more shadow on the right side. Yeah, what should I do? I need to do it. I'm not happy with it. I mean, if I, if I destroy it now, <laughs> It doesn't change anything. I'm still not happy with it. Need to make stuff that potentially makes me happy afterwards. And while I'm painting lots of tiny details that are basically not really visible, just shadows here and there, tiny corrections, I want to tell you another fun fact about my head characters. Because uh, some years ago I made this post on Instagram that shows that these characters have an uh, organ that is half heart and half brain. So all these characters have a brart. <laughs> oh. Okay, I need to stop now. Uh, I need to stop now because um, 
I did not charge the, the lights and the first one just turned off and I don't want to bring all the material out when it's completely dark in here. So I will continue tomorrow and do another hour and finish it. But I think now I'm, now I'm optimistic. I think this will be great. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, this is the first box of material. I have to bring everything up here. Oh, by the way, good morning. It's the next morning. And I uh, got like uh, three, four hours, maybe. I, I think I will not paint that long anymore. But I don't know how it looks like. So um, let's have a look at it at daylight. I will not look. I will not look. I will not look. <laughs> okay, I will have a look. Oh yeah, nice. Nice, nice, oh nice. Okay, I think it does not need that much anymore. Do you wanna see it? <laughs> um, I won't show it to you. I will just do detail shots now for the last uh, details and last designs that I do and then uh, for the dramatic reveal it will be more interesting for you to not show it to you. Yeah, but it's nice. <laughs> okay, let's bring all the other material, do the last designs and stuff, and then... Ah, cool. Cool! Okay, okay, now, now, now I, I, really, I really don't want to overstyle it. I think this is enough. I need to think about it a little bit to make it even better the next time. But I'm happy with this and I know that you want to see it. This is the final result. <laughs> You know what? I will just buy 10 of them myself right now. Just to uh, support, to support myself. It is not about the money. I just want that, that you all have this figure. I, I, want, to, I want to be able to say that uh, I have my own first vinyl figure. So I buy 10 of them right now. I need, wanted to, to test the QR code anyways. Oop, QR code scanned, quantity. 10. Hey now, order is being processed. Thank you, Andreas. Your order is confirmed. Okay, now we got 10 more. <laughs> and if the crowdfunding does not happen, um, if we don't got enough, you all will get your money back. Uh, but hopefully not. Good as the um, 
as the vinyl figure, the details of it, they are just insane. So yeah, uh, just check out the crowdfunding. It would be really, really nice if uh, you would support this. It's only $30 plus shipping, or 30 euros, something like that. Uh, extremely cheap. I don't know how they are able to, um, to produce such a detailed uh, figure uh, for that price. But um, yeah, this is your last chance. Check it out, The Alchemist. free spray cans. Uh, I hope you were a little bit entertained and we see us in the next project.